Disclaimer. This film contains instances of crude humor, vulgar language, mild violence, and stars a bunch of teenage boys. Okay. End of disclaimer. Time for a dumb documentary. Beat boop I am a text to speech robot la 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 Oh, we got a live one. Hey you, fellow high schooler looking person. Huh? Do, do you like the Bob Jones cross country team? What? what? Ah. Do you go to Bob Jones High School? I'm in the school zone for it. Well, do you like the Bob Jones cross country team? Wh what is cross country? Oh. Say something important. Uh, something important. Testing, one, two, three, four. Good to see you too, Ryan. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Attach this to you. Is this my, uh, what's Am I wearing a wire? Hello, Isaac. What's up, Isaac? How y'all doing? I'm I. We're conducting I'm I. the interview. Are yes, we are. Okay. So are you cold, Ryan? You look cold. I'm a little bit, yes. That sucks. <laughs> I'd like to start this off by saying thank you to Gary. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. Let's all thank Gary. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Now, you may be asking yourself, why are we thanking Gary? Well, I'll tell you. You also may have a few other questions, such as, what is this? Why should I care? What even is cross country? Don't worry. I'll explain that as well. So. Sit back, get a bev, a snack, and get ready to meet the team. The wolf pack. What's your name and uh, when did you join the team? I'm Isaac and I joined in eighth grade, so two years ago. Ryan Howard Goldsmith. I joined the team in 2018. This is my third season. All right, uh, I'm James Garrison, the current number one runner on the Bob Jones cross country team and the best Patriot ever, for the record. You will not be out America me and that's just not gonna happen. Ryan Bender and then uh, cross country in eighth grade. Hey, I'm Matthew Pimmel, and I joined the team in 2017. I'm Nate Bryan. I joined the team my seventh grade year, which was uh, three years ago. My name's Cameron Cummings, and I joined the team this year, and uh, this is Wade. Yes, my name is Wade uh, Busey, and I uh, joined the team my seventh grade year, and uh, have been on the team for four years. Why, why did you join the team? Uh, I wasn't doing any sports, and I thought cross country would be fine, because I was always good at running. Because I didn't make the baseball team. Uh, I joined the team because I had Coach Max. Uh, I had Coach Max IT fundamentals class, and he like pretty much, uh, what's it called? Course. Course. <laughs> well, my cousins ran for Huntsville, and I was like, you know, maybe I should try cross country. That sounds fun. Joined the team uh, at first because I won't, didn't want to do lacrosse anymore, and it was the only way to get my dad off my back. Um, Every but good hero story. exactly. Uh, it wasn't really my decision to join the team. My parents mostly just wanted me out of the house, and they said, hey, um, you're kind of fast. Go join the cross-country team. So I was like, all right. And what about you, Wade? Why'd you join the team? Uh, I thought I'd be good. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's okay, Wade. Sometimes we fall, but we get up stronger, right? Well, I, I, I like say that, that saying. I, I say that all the time, yeah. Now, before we get started, I should probably explain what exactly cross country is to those of you who don't know. So, according to Wikipedia, cross country is a sport in which teams and individuals run a race on open air courses over natural terrain, such as dirt or grass. 
Yeah, we're not talking about your classic skiing trip, kiddos. In, in fact, we, we don't get much snow down here anyway because it's Alabama, but I digress. The races are usually three miles or 5.1 kilometers long and can last anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes, depending on your skill and a lot of luck. So naturally, those are the races that we prepare for. So um, how is practice usually laid out for you guys? Uh, on any given day? Any given day, uh -huh. it depends. We usually do two hard workouts a week or so and uh, three easier workouts, easier workouts being, you know, a couple miles uh, to up to six. Um, track workouts that'll be a lot harder or long runs that are easier, maybe some hills. Sometimes, I think it's Mondays, it's rainbow. Uh, so rainbow? In the morning, in like 5.30, we meet up at uh, the Discovery parking lot, which is our middle school here. And then from that parking lot, we run into what is Ryan Bender's in my neighborhood, and we run up the massive hill and back. Uh, what's your, what's, what are the fun types of practice? The ones that we can all just sort of talk on a long run, those are nice. Uh, obviously, I'm going to say long run, because I just run with people my speed, and we're not going to like go all out. We're going to go at a pretty good pace, so it gives us enough room to like talk and make jokes, and that's where like a lot of fun things in cross countries happen. Uh, what are the not so fun types of practice? Ones where you can't talk. We're talking rainbow or track. What are your least favorite types of practices? Um, like short speed reps because I'm always last place. Track workouts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, I think everyone can say that because, yeah. you know, it hurts. For one, we do, uh, what's it? We do 400s, which is just a lap. And we do 12 of them with like a one or two minute break in between. I'll just say my legs don't feel the same after those. That's a bit different. My least favorite runs um, were when we had Coach Goldsmith. She would have us go to a neighborhood not too far away from here and run up and down this really steep hill over and over and over again. Oh, it was torturous, let me tell you, I hated those. For many of the athletes on our team, they had three different coaches in their cross country career. And each was quite different in how they conducted both themselves and their practices. The first coach anybody currently had on the team was Coach Baker. He left in late 2017 to go to Huntsville High. On an unrelated note, Huntsville High is now number eight in the country for cross country. But I digress. Up next, we have Coach Goldsmith, who is the second coach that mostly everyone on our team currently had. She was here for two years and had a heavy preference for sprints and track workouts, which, you know, doesn't always make everyone happy. We would sometimes not love the workout she gave us, but nonetheless, at the end of the day, we appreciate what she did for our team and the contribution she gave. I personally like Coach Goldsmith and the workout she gave us, but you can't always make everyone happy. And then finally we get to Coach Mac. Coach Mac is a wonderful individual. Well now I really appreciate the good workouts. He's very supportive, really cares about us as people, not just athletes. Uh, his workouts, not always great, but what's good about that is he's willing to talk to us about it so we can yeah. kind of build off each other, make sure everything works, that yeah. kind of thing. He's a reasonable guy, for sure. He's really, really brought us to like a level of potential that I never thought I would reach in running. It's really been a good experience for me. And that's why we love Coach Max, right? Yes. yes he's he obviously number one. He embraces the game. Obviously yeah. number one. Unfortunately, it's not always fun and games on the team. Since allegations are always rampant in the sports world, we have to address them. Okay. Rumor says... But, yes. No, rumor says this is true. No, oh, it's true. <laughs> that, no, no, this is true. This is true. So I am true. the number one in the state. Oh, I got up everyone. I'm that's not actually. That's that's. Oh, not this isn't true. No, no, no. This this is still please, true. Please, please. No, no. So you guys are together, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Just make <laughs> sure. So the team atmosphere is great, right? You, so you think the chemistry is good for the team on the team? Yeah, I mean, obviously there's some disagreements here and there, but overall, you know, we get along yeah. and stuff like that. It's great. So, um, uh, rumor says that James Garrison is. A is that true? <laughs> that is not true. The allegations against you are false. No, no, it's lies. He, he lies. did it. He it's did it. Oh crap, I'm back. Uh, unfortunately, due to the subject material being discussed, the audio has been mandated by the government of the United States of America to be muted.
The man known as James Garrison is in fact a Fret not. This man will be executed on security grounds within the next 24 hours. We hope this does not compromise the viewing experience. Say that again. I run. Ryan Goldsmith. 6'4", 175. Run. Since 2018. That's about it. Mic drop. We have gotten into some stupid stuff. Quite a lot of Walmart and bowling, as well as, I don't know, we do do a lot of running outside of practice, and I mean like on fields <laughs> and from people. Like boxing, Battle of the Beans. Um, boxing is fun. What's the Battle of the Beans? Me and Wade. <laughs> it's Wait, hi I, it's I, always hyped up, but it's it's why never you considered considered the bean. I'm considered the bean because look at me. <laughs> <laughs> so Battle of the Beans is a fighting match. Yes. <laughs> and has it happened yet? It did, and it didn't go well for me. <laughs> oh, we gotta have round two. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Other times, Garrison decides, you know what, I'm gonna go jump into a lake halfway through a run, you know. Over the summer, we had that tricycle we picked up, and we carried it through, all the way through the Greenway back. And I just remember vividly, one morning, we're running 800s, and I just, I'm running, and then someone, I, th I can't even remember who it was, I think it was Ryan probably, says, praise the light God, and we just started a ceremony of praise towards the stadium lights, for no reason at all. At meets, well, you see, there's, the meat area, and then there's what surrounds the meat, and that's the tomfoolery right there in itself. Once you explore that area, then you can get up to some good tomfoolery. What is some out of practice tomfoolery that may happen sometimes? I plead the fifth. <laughs> no, that's completely understandable. That <laughs> Coach Baker, well, he didn't really notice it, and then Coach Goldsmith, she didn't like it at all, and then Coach. Uh, Mac, he does not seem to care. It's only because Mr. Runyon or Coach Jay cares. Surprisingly enough, the boys' shenanigans rarely get them in trouble, and serious trouble at that. But that leads us to the meets. The meets are the highlight of the season, where teams all across the state come to compete on those long, winding races we talked about. So, um, the meets, how do you guys usually get to them? Uh, well, um, because Okay. okay. So everyone's been telling me that like buses were the most part of cross, the most fun part of cross country. Normally the meets start with, you know, the karaoke bus. We had musicals. I mean, we had a whole chorus going on. That was pretty good. They're they're amazing. They're like one of the best parts about it, you know. Yeah. And I, it sucks that we couldn't do that this year due to COVID, but yeah. hopefully we'll be able to do it next year. There's normally not too much going on in general. It's mostly just walking around the courses, talking. Uh, preparing. We're, we're kind of calm there, it's a little bit more relaxed because we're just trying to get ready to run, trying to race our hearts out, get in the right mood. So what happens before the races? Uh, we warm up and then we race. Before the races, <laughs> that's when stuff starts getting a little interesting because, you know, we have our uh, we have our warm-ups. Normally I eat like 10 pieces of run gum. Really I'm just sitting there chewing run gum and being later than everyone else to the line. Well, I, I annoy Gary for a run gum pack so that, you know, I can have that extra caffeine. And once I get it, I'll pop a run gum and then I'll, I'll go go do some plyos and, you know, start stretching out and just get ready, mentally prepare. And I'll start singing songs in my head. Um, I like to listen to Bohemian Rhapsody, chew some run gum, and uh, stretch. I'll eat um, run gum and that'll be it. That's great. Um, yeah. And then we go out in, and we go out in the, in the field and we, we pray and do our, our uh, warm up thing. And I'm normally really nervous because I because you had so much caffeine. Because I had yeah because I had so much caffeine, but uh, I'm just nervous because I'm always trying to PR because my first races weren't so good, but I've just been increasingly trying to get better and better myself every race and slowly keep reaching my goal. And so the teams line up, get ready, get set, and... Okay, 
during the race, what are you thinking about? You know, like what's going on inside your head? Um, don't let Jackson beat me, and don't let Colin catch up to me if he's out? behind. Not at sectionals or state. No, that did not work out. That's all right. I mean, I'll th I'll concentrate on the race about the first mile. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other half, the third mile, I'm thinking about a guy named Nate. Um, I can't specify the last name. Uh, second mile, I zone out. I, I never remember the second mile. So you, you think about another male during the race? Exactly. Yes. Why am I not catching Gary? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> like, he's just too far out in front. That makes sense. That makes sense. Is that how you keep yourself motivated? Yeah, I got to catch this. Well, last year when I had Spanish, I just used to like conjugate words. This year, I. I was just like, this sucks. No, I'm with him there. I used to do that. Yeah. What about that first race this I, year? I, trust me, I was the first race. I was like, oh, there's Ryan. There's Ryan, and I couldn't get him. And he kept looking back like a punk. <laughs> um, normally, I'm thinking about like whenever I take off, like my placement in there. Cause you know, I never want to be too far behind. I just want to know my placement and how I am with people on my team, knowing who I'm pacing with. Either it's people my speed like Logan, John, Noah, people like them that I know I'm similar speeds with too, knowing that, um, and then making sure I hear out times. Depending on my first mile time, it'll be I slow down or kick, and second mile is really where I'll kick it up. What's it, we race meets, we show up, we meet people, make friends while running. Yeah, I'm, I don't know, that's, that's all I got to say about meets really. I didn't even talk about meets that much. Yeah, that's all right, the other guys will pick up the slack. <laughs> um, after the races, what do you guys usually do? Food. Just I, as, I as well do food. I do food. food. I go have lunch with the team. Where do you usually have lunch? <sighs> Waffle House. Zaxby's or Waffle House? Yeah, those are two good places. How have previous seasons been for you? Like at meets, practices, etc.? A lot less serious because once you like sort of move up, if you will, you just get more serious when it comes to the races and practices. But I know in the past, no, not serious at all. My previous season's PRs were looking like, I think it was, my first year was a 17, or sorry, not a 17, well, 1930 was a, was about my 7th grade year, can't remember my 8th grade year PR, but then um, 9th was a 1830, and this past year 10th was a 1730, I'm hoping by my senior year to have a 1530 PR, so yeah. That's a big goal, Wade, I hope you, I hope you reach it, man. So what are your future plans for running? My future plans, I would like to keep running, probably not in college, but, you know, casually, yeah. or try to get a faster marathon time if I can, longer distance. Well, I've gotten better each year, so just to keep getting better. Yeah, I can't complain about that. Uh, future plans, um, I want to keep trying to improve myself, hopefully uh, keep training because I won't be able to do indoor because of COVID. So I'm just gonna keep doing off-season training. Even if I don't go to the meets, I'll still try to train with the team as much as I can. Right. Hopefully trying to get to the low 19s and 18s and replace Ryan Goldsmith since he's graduating this year. Yeah, good luck with that. I wasn't able to run as much this year due to injury, but um, past years, you know, I, I was able to run then, which is good, obviously, but hoping to just come back strong, be able to do it better in the future, you know? Awesome. Well, for sure. Thank you for being here. Thank Welcome. you for doing the interview. Thank you, sir. Yes, very nice. Appreciate it. Well, here we are. Our stories come to a close. We learned what cross country is. We learned about the Bob Jones cross country team. And of course, our team's crippling addiction to run gum. But hey, that's all right. I'm your host, Nate Bryan, and this was The Wolf Pack. Now, allow us to serenade you with the national anthem of our beautiful country as the credits roll. Thank you and have a good night.
you. Today. Yeah, thanks, you too. Put a shirt on. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. sit down. Yeah, get back down. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Classic. Yeah, uh, I was shaking for like the first half of that.